In this video, I am going to do my very best to explain why there are different keys for ocarinas and what that even means. Before I get started, I wanted to remind you that if you are looking for a new ocarina, you can go to stlocarina.com and use my code GINA for 10% off your purchase. In this video, all the ocarinas that I will be demonstrating are these ones, which are porcelain found on the S Hill Ocarina website. I will have them linked. So what is a different key? This is really hard to explain, especially if you have not had any experience with music. There's a lot of music theory involved, so I'm going to try to make this as simple as possible because I know a lot of you, if you're watching this, you probably don't have a lot of experience with music or you're new to music, which is amazing by the way, so fantastic, and I'm so excited that you are having the new adventure of learning music and learning a new instrument. I think that that's absolutely incredible. And so I want to try to make this video as simple as possible to kind of explain to you why you might see while you're looking for a new instrument, why it says in the key of C or in the key of F. So I'm sure all of you have seen a piano before in some capacity or another. So you'll have noticed that there are white buttons, if you will, or black buttons. They're actually called keys. I'm not gonna refer to them as keys because it's a different meaning of key than what we're talking about in this video. So we're gonna just call it button. So please don't get after me and say, no, Gina, that's actually a key or a note or whatever. Okay, we're gonna call them buttons for the sake of this video so there's no confusion. So there are different buttons on the piano and depending on which button you push, whether it is higher or lower, it will change the pitch of that note, whatever it may be. So obviously the ones that are towards the right side are the higher notes and ones on the left side are the lower notes. So that is essentially what different notes are. Now there is something called a scale, also could be referred to as a key, and it's essentially a group of notes that make up a scale. Okay, so I know you probably don't know what that is, but maybe you have heard something that sounds kind of like this. That right there is a scale. That particular one was the C major scale. So basically there are a bunch of different scales and they're just different combination of notes. And you go from low to high and there are a bunch in between and there are a bunch of different scales that you can choose from. So why would you choose one scale or key versus another one? Uh, there's a couple different reasons for that. The first would be that there is a different emotion uh, associated with that key or scale. Uh, also, it could be based on the range, whether it's the range of the instrument or the range of the person's voice. So if you think about it, let's say you have a little kid. Their voice is a lot higher than an adult's voice. So they would have what is called a higher range than somebody who is an adult. They're going to have a lower range. So because of that, certain keys are going to work better potentially for kids than they are for adults. And don't worry, I am going to play these for you to give you a better idea in just a second. But essentially you could sing the same song, it's just going to be in what's called a different key. So one really great way to notice this is by playing just songs on the radio and if you find one song that then is covered by another artist, a lot of times you'll notice that they aren't in the same key. It's the same song, it sounds, you know, relatively the same depending on how much they switch it up. They're singing the same notes, but it's a different group of notes. It's either a higher or a lower version of that song. Another way to think about this is imagine um, if you are listening to something and you speed it up and all of a sudden it sounds like a chipmunk or if you slow it down and it gets really low and slow. So imagine if you weren't changing the speed and you were just changing the high or the low. So maybe somebody says, hi, my name is Gina. And then this other one says, hi, my name is Gina. And then there's another one that says, hi, my name is Gina. Those are different keys. Now let's backtrack to keys on an ocarina and does it matter which key that you get? Well, it does. Typically you are going to want to get one that is in the key of C. And that is because if you are playing along with other instruments, 
typically what you're playing with them. That way they are able to play the same music as you. If you are playing, let's say, with a piano player, they are able to do what is called transposition and switch to your key, but that is going to require that the piano player actually knows what that is and is able to make those adjustments. So in general, I would say stick with the key of C. So it really matters if you're playing with other instruments. Another reason is possibly you are playing with a backing track. Typically in that situation, you would also want to play in the key of C. That just kind of depends. Um, kind of hard to explain, but I think you'll understand once you finish this video. And finally, the third one is if, let's say, you are doing a tutorial, let's say one of my tutorials, and it is in the key of C. You could do the tutorial, but when you play along with me, your notes are not going to match what I am doing. And you will notice there are different keys of C. There is a tenor key of C, there is a bass key of C, and there is a soprano key of C. That is, of course, the soprano is going to be higher, tenor is kind of in the middle, bass is low, but ultimately you can play the key of C and it's the key of C. It's just going to be the higher version or the lower version of that. So to give you an idea of this, I'm just going to play a bunch for you so that you can actually hear what I'm talking about. I'm going to play the same scale on each of them and you'll notice that it either goes higher or it goes lower. I'm gonna start with this one, which is a tenor in the key of C, and I'm doing the same fingerings of all of these. So even though I'm doing the same fingering on this one, on another ocarina, it's gonna possibly be higher or it's going to be lower. You'll understand once I start playing. So again, this is a tenor in the key of C, and I will be doing the scale on this one. Now this one is in the key of F. Now this is in the key of G. Works getting higher and higher with these. And finally we have the soprano C. So this is also in the key of C, but it's the high version. Now I'm going to go back to the tenor so that you can hear the high C compared to this one. Now let's start working our way down. So this is in the key of G. This is in the key of F. Finally, this is the bass in the key of C, so the low version. So we have a soprano, a tenor, and a bass all in the key of C. And let's just take it back to the tenor so you can hear the low version of the C versus the middle version. Well, I hope this video helped you understand the difference between the different keys. Ultimately, the more you get familiar with music, the more you'll understand the difference and when you might want to use one more than the other. But if you're just starting out, I would recommend just getting an ocarina in the key of C, probably a tenor. That is going to be the easiest for you to learn and there's the most material with that. I would say most of the tutorials are with the key of C and it's going to make your life a lot easier and then eventually you can go and try some of those other keys. Let me know if you do have questions in the comments. I will do my best to answer all of those. Thank you so much to STL Ocarina for making this series possible. Make sure that you subscribe to me here on YouTube so that you don't miss any of my future Ocarina tutorials. I have a bunch of playlists of learning how to play the ocarina as well as song tutorials, which are in the QC. And you can also find me on Instagram and TikTok, and I want to wish you the best of luck on your ocarina journey.